Some awesome shit is coming to the Switch. More specifically, to the Virtual Console. More specifically, to the SNES Virtual Console. This is a game that I've been saying should have been on since the launch of said Virtual Console. And I will let you in on what that is, as well as some other cool Nintendo news, coming up. First off, we get a pretty cool looking game coming to the NES Virtual Console. It's called Immortal. I don't know much about this game, but it looks pretty freaking cool. You get to be this wizard dude looking like Gandalf with his lit up staff. He works his way around this dank ass dungeon in a Diablo 1 sort of style. Next we have a wrestling SNES game named Natsumi Wrestling Championship. It's a bit of a mouthful. Which is not the SNES game I'm excited about, but I'll give it a go. Wrestling games are usually pretty cool, good for a laugh. The game that has my knickers in a knot is this. Donkey freaking Kong Country. And I'm not talking about Donkey Kong Country 2, which everyone seems to praise. No, no, no. This is the much superior, way better Donkey Kong Country 1, the original. The first and the best in the series, which I will prove in a later video. So subscribe if you want to see that. Also, let me know what your favorite Donkey Kong game is in the comments down below. I'll be shocked if anyone picks the third one. This game needed to be on the Switch. Sure, it's on the SNES Classic, which is a fine way to play it, but now you can play it portably. Who wouldn't want to play the king of all SNES games while sitting on the throne? Which opens it up to online capabilities, and I will challenge any single one of you to a two-player contest to see who the champion is. You are not prepared. In other Nintendo news, somebody in the world, an anonymous person, bought on Friday in auction an original copy of Super Mario on the NES in premium condition and set a world record. They dropped 114,000 on this piece of gaming history making it the highest selling game ever. Imagine having that much money, 114K on a game that you'll never play. What do you even do with it? Whenever you buy a game like that, that's been appraised in auction, it's always in that weird plastic appraisal case that looks hideous. Do you take it out of the case or do you leave it on as an eyesore? If you take the case off, then wouldn't it ruin the value potentially of the game? So you would want to keep it in the case but then no one wants to look at it, not even yourself. I mean, maybe you do, but it's hideous. I'm all for collecting games, but I'd rather collect games that I can actually play. I mean, sure, he could play this game, but I doubt he will. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Let me know if you like this video. If so, I'll keep the news videos going. Also, if you want to be a pro like me, I'm going to be putting up a video of all the best shortcuts in Donkey Kong Country. So subscribe for that, and... Keep on questing.